So, you want to get rich in Sea Thieves and you want to learn how? Well, that's why I'm here. In today's video, I will be showing you top 5 ways to make money in Sea Thieves. I will be starting from number 5 and going up to number 1. Number 5 is not the worst way to make money in the game, but it is the worst on the list that I have. So, without any further ado, let's get right into the video and if you can, please subscribe. Number 5 would definitely be the Skull of Siren Song Voyage because it isn't the worst voyage in the game but it's also not the best. It's okay for new players because there's not too much PvP. It was meant to be a PvP voyage but it isn't now because barely anyone does it anymore. And it gives you about 50k for about 20 minutes of work. The Skull of Siren Song consists of two maps that you were given unless someone else has already dug up the other thing. What I mean by this is there's a chest and a key to the chest on two different islands and whoever joins the quest then can dig up the second item. So for example if you dig up the chest and somebody else joins the quest from their mast then they can look at the map and go dig up the second thing then you would have to fight to get the other thing unlock the chest get a skull and go bring it back to Briggsy for 50k i usually have good experiences with this quest so usually no one else steals anything from me but other people can have worse luck and have people steal them or even sink them so as you can see here i dug up the chest some skeleton spawned i killed them pretty easily and i brought the chest back to the ship now one thing that is really important and I did not tell you about the Skull of Siren Song quest yet is that once you've got one thing then you are marked on the map to other players that are in that quest. You have a large beacon on your ship and you are uh, marked on the map. You also are slowed down no matter what you have. If you have the chest or the key you are slowed down a bit but once you open that chest and get the skull you are slowed down a lot before you deliver the skull of siren song for 50k the final island will be marked as a big purple beacon as you can see in the top right now and you can uh, sail to this island pretty fast but you are slowed down a lot why rare does this is to get a uh, people to fight basically instead of running is it's a pvp voyage basically so you slow down so other people other crews have chances to catch up to you and get the skull for themselves so if you are being followed or chased they will catch you and you will be forced to fight unless you throw the loot overboard number four would definitely be ancient vaults from the gold harders this quest is great for new players as soon as I reach level 15 or 30 I think these uh, quests unlock it I just grinded these out I absolutely grinded them out and I got to pirate legend with only these quests I also made hundreds of thousands on the way to pirate legend but if pirate legend is more of your goal than money go check out my other video on how to get to pirate legend fast like I said, I made hundreds of thousands from these vaults alone, so I highly recommend doing them as a new player. The reason why this is at number 4 is because the next 3 are just way better. Gold Harder vaults always got me to grade 5, or at least 4. Grade 4 or 5 is mostly where I was at after only one of these vaults. So if you are just looking to get a quicker flag, about 30 minutes of this, then you get a grade 5. So it is 100% worth it if you're just trying to get a grade 5 gold harder uh, to do like a loot stack or something similar or related to that. Moving on to number 3 would definitely be Fleet of Fortune. The reason why I chose this instead of any other world event is because it is so easy, especially as a solo, and it gets you so much loot now the fleet of fortune isn't just a normal fleet it actually gives you the chest of fortune which is worth 20k alone and it gives you so much other stuff like 10 skeleton captains chests this world event also gives you so many gems and each skeleton wave drops some loot at least like two three gems from my experience and some chests Fleet of Fortune is also great if you want to improve your cannon and skills, so if you are pretty bad at cannons and you want to improve Fleet of Fortune or any ghost fleets or something like that, it's great to improve this. I use Skelly Fleets to improve my cannon skills and this is just 10 times better than a normal Skelly Fleet with the loot that it drops, so it's a win-win situation for anyone doing this fleet. 
Now moving on to number 2, it is obviously FOTD aka Thought of the Damned. Now obviously this is going to be on the list, it's a great way to make money, especially as a 4 man as I'm doing right now, it is harder as a 4 man but there's 4 people and it's the best way, the best thought that you could do possibly. Why I'm saying this is because it doesn't have the chest of fortune, it does have the chest of legends though and you can start this fort whenever you want, you don't have to wait for it to respawn like any other world event. Fort of the Damned also gives a lot of great loot too, skulls, gems, chests, you name it, Fort of the Damned has it. So if you are looking for a quick book and a lot of fun with your crew then Fort of the Damned is definitely the place to go. Now Fort of the Damned can be pretty hard for newer players so if you are a new player definitely do not do this alone and but if you are experienced then obviously no problem. But if you are new, do this with a crew, preferably four people that you trust, not open crew. Why not open crew you may ask? Well, I explain that in another video, so check it out on my YouTube channel and while you're there, subscribe. Please. Pretty please. Well, like I was saying, uh, Fort of the Damned is like the diamond casino heist in GTA. It is good for money. But it's like not the best for money, but it's the most fun thing you can have in the game with other people. One Fort of the Damned would probably give you about a grade 3 Reaper. So if you do two of them, you'd get grade 5. And with two Fort of the Damned with grade 5 Reapers, assuming you sell everything at Reapers and lower your emissary, you'd probably get about 500k. So yeah, it's definitely worth it if you're not good at PvP, but you still want good money. Do not do this if you're not expecting any PvP at all, because people will come for a fort of the damned. If you're not careful, you will get sank. So I recommend leaving one person on the ship to uh, watch out for other ships, so you do not sink. Now, the thing that everyone has been waiting for, number one, what is the best way to make money in Sea of Thieves? And that, my friends, is Hourglass! Yay, woohoo, the thing everybody loves. Yeah, no, I know Hourglass is shit, but it's great for making money. Like, great, it is amazing. Two Hourglass fights already get you a grade 5 flag, and that could take anywhere from 5 minutes to 1 hour, so it's either shorter or longer than Fort the Damned, but it gives way more money. One fight would give you about 25k without emissary bonus. So if you just went on one streaks, then you'd get already a grade five, a grade three, sorry, flag, and then you can sell it out for 25k and lower your flag for an extra, what, two, two and a half grand? Then, so you'd be making about, about 26k per fight, 27 maybe. By far, the best tip is to subscribe to me because I have made these videos in the past, so check that out, it will be on screen now and I will be making more of these videos in the future, so if you do like to see these type of videos, leave a like, subscribe and comment down below what you'd like to see next. Goodbye everyone and I hope you have a great, amazing rest of your day. Subscribe!